G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. I hope you like this video. If you're new to my channel, I would love you to hit that subscribe button. On this video, what I want to do is I'm going to give you the top five things to make you a better hairdresser that I believe that will make you a better hairdresser through my experience. I'm not saying I know everything, but I am saying these are my top five things to improve yourself as a hairdresser. And hopefully you'll get some benefit from this video. So listen, real quick, um, I know this is a super long video, uh, but I got this in the mail the other day and I wanted to add this on because I thought it'd be appropriate. Um, anyways, let me open this and let's just see what's in here. Yeah! <laughs> so I thought this would be appropriate and the reason why he's uh, released a new book and this right here is a copy which I pre-ordered and again it's not out yet so this is freaking awesome uh, brand new it's, it's just so cool that I've actually got my hands on this um, it, it's just a super cool I'm so oh I'm so excited look he's, he's even written on this is so cool um, David, mate, thank you for all your support don't ever lose the passion mate this is so awesome means so much to get my hands on this um, it's so cool the fact that he's even written in the front of it it just it means so much and and I and the reason why I thought this would be appropriate because this whole video is about how to be a better hairdresser and and this guy is is a great example on on what you need to do to basically be a better hairdresser or be a better business owner um, I went and ordered you know a bunch of these for everyone at the salon um, I ordered seven of them pre-ordered because I think everyone should have the opportunity to um, you know learn more so hopefully they will be in but as I say I just pre-ordered it um, this is very cool so thank you so much mate I appreciate it I can't believe that I've actually got a copy I'm gonna start reading this tonight um, it's so cool but yeah so listen uh, yeah, no, I really hope you enjoy the, this video. Uh, it, it, YouTube has been an amazing experience so far for me and I've met some great people and, and I really think it's a cool thing to, um, to put you know, education for hairdressers out there. So yeah, hey, go pre-order, go get yourself one of these. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. So yeah, very cool, mate, very cool. Just start. <laughs> Expectations. Definition. A strong belief that something will happen or be that case in the future. Setting unrealistic expectations in this industry can set you up for failure from the start. Not only with yourself, with your clients. The minute a client sits in your chair, they have an expectation of what they want. Uh, you as a hairdresser, you have an expectation of what you can give them. Expectations are big. Consultations are important. If you do not have realistic expectations in this industry, you're not going to be successful. Let me give you an example. Hairdressers that start out in a salon with no clientele, may walk in with the expectation of being really successful really quickly and not really understanding what it takes. So you're already walking in, setting yourself up not to be successful. You're going to fail because you've got to have realistic expectations of what it takes in this industry to be successful. Um, I hope that makes sense. You can watch hour-long videos on how to improve expectations, how to be better, and 
just how to make your life better, not only in this industry, but in all walks, uh, all industries, all walks of life. So, expectations are very important. Don't expect something for nothing. The higher the expectations or the higher the goal that you set yourself, the higher the sacrifice you have to have somewhere else in your life. Otherwise, we'll all be walking around millionaires. <sighs> Run on time. Respect your client's time. There is no reason. Well, let me recap. There is very few reasons why you shouldn't run on time in this industry. If you're running late constantly as a hairdresser, you're not gonna be successful. If it's bad time management, it doesn't look good. If you're, when did it become okay for a client to wait for you for 20 minutes? It just, it, it's not okay. Clients will not respect you. They won't respect your time if you're constantly running late. It's an important part of this industry. So you should always, as I, I understand there's, there's times where you're not gonna run on time. There's certain things that happen in life that we can't control. But the majority of the time in this industry, you should run on a scheduled time. So your client is not walking in and waiting 20 minutes for you to finish up on your previous client. So most important, or one of the most important ones, running on time as a hairdresser will make you a better hairdresser. <laughs> one thing that really worked for me in this industry is that when I realized I'm always working, 24 hours a day, when I walk out of the salon, I'm still working. You know, we get an opportunity to talk to people all the time. So you've got to understand, friends, family, they're going to ask your hair questions. You go to a party, they find out you're a hairdresser, they're going to ask you, hey, what's best for my hair? These are important things because it's going to make you busier. And that's how we build a clientele. So it's important to understand, once we walk out the door, we're still hairdressers. Once we get done with our client and we move on to our life outside of these four walls in the salon you're still a hairdresser and once you go to you go to pay for gas in your car you, you're still a hairdresser so we have an opportunity to constantly be successful in this industry or constantly build our clientele every chance we talk to someone because that's our industry. That's the benefit of being a hairdresser. Um, so it's important to understand that. I know a lot of uh, people that walk out of here and don't want to talk about hair. Well, unfortunately, they're not going to be successful. Once you understand the concept that you're always, in a sense, working, but not even working, you've got to understand that you're a hairstylist 24 hours a day. So once you get that concept, you'll get busier. You'll get more people wanting to come and see you. you get more opportunity to build a clientele. So the way to be a better hairdresser is to understand you're a hairdresser. <laughs> okay, this is this one. <laughs> when you're doing a service on someone, they do not want to hear all your bullshit. They do not want to come in and listen to all your crap that you have going on in your life. They want to come in and relax and enjoy the service, get a great haircut and leave. They don't want to come in and hear about that you're unhappy in your relationship or that your car broke down or that you can't pay your bills or that you know you, you you've got a terrible relationship in a family it just they don't want to hear it they just you leave all your bullshit at home because at the end of the day they're not going to come back to you and i mean this in the nicest way possible and don't 
get me wrong. I know we all have stuff going on in our life. We do. But a client that comes in and pays for a service does not want to hear about how unhappy you are while you're doing the service. They will stop coming to you. Eventually, they're just going to go, I don't want to go to that person. They're always unhappy. So understand, we all have troubles. But a client that pays for your time shouldn't have to sit there and listen to your bullshit. So leave it outside. Don't bring it into work. Just understand that because people will stop coming to you. It won't make you successful. No one wants to be around that. So please, when you have a client in your chair, understand that you're there to serve them and listen to them. So it's not going to help you. Now, again, this is just things I've experienced. You may have that client that comes back to hear about your drama. Um, I'm not saying that it may not work for you. I'm just saying it's never worked in the past for me or what I've seen. So I always say leave the bullshit at home. <sighs> okay, so the reason... Okay, the, the number one thing, the most important thing to make you a better hairdresser, you know, not even to make you a better hairdresser, make you a better person, make in any industry, and it's not a, it's across everything, is never stop learning. Never get to that point where you think you know everything, because you don't. Um, it, it's a constant thing that we, we constantly grow and we change and we, we experience new things. So never stop doing education. It's the possibility of education out there today with YouTube and, and the, the classes that you can take and the hands-on stuff. And, you know, never stop growing in your industry. There's so many things that yet I, I, I've got to learn um, or I have to learn. Um, I will never know everything and nor will you. Um, but it's this is the most important thing to make you successful in any industry. You can look at the top CEOs of any company and they will say they're continually learning their craft. So it's important to understand that education is key, right? And I'm not saying you have to fly to Las Vegas or another country or, you know, spend thousands of dollars. You can get on YouTube. There are so many videos out there that it can make us better in our industry. So uh, the number one thing that I think to make anyone successful is that opportunity of continuing education. It's important. And if you think you get to the point where you know everything about your, your industry, if you truly believe you know everything about your industry, well, you know what? You're, then you can start creating things right you can go take it to a whole new level so then you become the teacher so you can start educating other people um, so look education to me it's an important thing to help us grow and just become better so it, I hope that makes sense but that is my number one thing and that's what's worked for me to continually grow um, and I do tell my clients when I'm going to classes and things like that because it's important for them to see it. So, yeah, that's the top five. <laughs> that's my top five. Don't forget to check out the link below where you can pick up some of the David Troy t-shirts. They're really cool and I love them. I've had a great, I've had a lot of fun with them. So, yeah, links down below as always. But, yeah, um, and don't forget to leave a comment. That'd be much appreciated. <laughs>